the first thing is stop doing just for fun projects. <laughs> That's step one. And what I mean by that is, is that if you're not passionate about the project enough to like really be intentional about it, it doesn't mean stop doing shorts, right? And it doesn't mean stop having fun while you do stuff. If you're not having fun, what are we all doing here? But my point is, is that when you qualify it as a just for fun project, you're dismissing it. You should never birth it. What I would encourage you to do is what I call an intentional epic short. So do it with intentionality. You can ask for, so I wrote a whole write-up about how and when to do something for free, right? From an actor's point of view, they need stuff for their reel. If you give me a really cool, unique role, if you're gonna give me IMDb credit, IMDb credit, are you a finisher? Most films wipe out in post. I mean, venture to say close to 80%. So are you a finisher? Then I'm gonna come on your project for fee, free, but do you treat the set professional? I'm not gonna come on if it's just for fun, I'm not interested. If you come on and say, Ron, I'm doing an intentional epic short this weekend. I just need you for two days. And I think, you know what, I can spread that. You know, I don't need to take off work. I can go to my wife and say, and kind of justify and explain, hey, hon, this is what I'm doing and why. And I'm gonna get something for my reel. I'm gonna get INDB credit. I meet other like-minded people. That's what you need to be doing, okay? So that's step one. Keep creating. Stop thinking that, you know, just because you do one thing, it's going to automatically move you into the other. And you got to start looking at yourself for what you truly are, a producer. You're not just a director or a writer. You are a producer. We all are. You're, you are a producer. Okay. We are producers. And the way the Mid-Atlantic Studios is going to do it, we want to hire the best people for the job, right? But certainly I'm going to get on every project, and I mean this, I'm gonna get as many people in the boat as I can and create opportunity. So it's not gonna be a, a, a good old boys club where it's the same four people and it's the Ron show and I wrote it, directed, produced it, you know, and I'm gonna star in it, you know? Um, it is gonna be like that. But oh, this is always my DP, it's always my, this is always gonna be the director, this is always my lead actor. That's not gonna be the case. First of all, we're gonna move around where we shoot, depending on what the need is. I have, I have a dream. <laughs> And that dream is, in the Mid-Atlantic region, we have different, not studios, because we already have some great studios here. Not studios, but we actually have sets, unique sets. Can you imagine having a castle somewhere to film, let's say in South Carolina, and then you had an epic fantasy town in North Carolina? There's already a Western town in West Virginia. You see where I'm going with this? We could have a map, literally, of like locations drivable for all of us to be able to utilize because that's the other problem we're writing scripts not really accounting our resources if I knew okay you're telling me I got a western town you're telling me I can we we have a bunch of wardrobe for western people you're telling me that you know you see what I'm saying like we have these resources what script should you probably be writing towards you know and then also I can help out with stuff the Mid-Atlantic Studios is going to be intentional about doing projects, but then I also hope and plan and want to encourage other projects that are birthed off of that.